What is up you two, my name is John and today I will be reacting to Circus Maximus Burn After Reading. Now this has been requested by one of my patrons, I actually uh, did kind of a Christmas thingy where I said hey, free first people that will write a song in the comments will get, you know, the video done or I will do the video, I will do the reaction and this one is actually, I believe, from Organic Mechanic, if I'm not mistaken, I'm just gonna look really quickly into the comments and I'm right. Alright, so this band is apparently Power Progressive Metal Band and they are from Norway, actually from Oslo. They are, were formed in 2000 and they are still active and they released four full-length albums. Alright, so those were a few facts about this band and right now we're just gonna jump into the song and I actually looked into the comments and so, you know, the comparison to Dream Theater, and if your band gets compared to Dream Theater, you are doing something right, at least in my book. So right now, without further ado, let's just jump into Circuit Maximus, Burn After Reading. Here we go, 3, 2, 1, now! Yep, somehow similar voice to... James Labrie. the camera yeah should be fine beautiful intro Taste of things to come, I believe. Love the melody. Guitar melody following the vocals. Actual keyboard melody, not guitar melody. Love those ambient sounding guitars in the back. Woo -hoo -hoo! Okay, here we go. Damn that ba that bass sound is. Thick. Piano. Mm. Oh, love how the bass kicked in there. Very interesting tempo right here. Kind of mind bending.
Yeah, his voice really, in some parts, reminds me, reminds me of Jim Slippery. Getting real. Oh, bro, that was cool as hell. Really getting those. Read that vibes now. Wow, okay. when they get these really heavy riffs. Oh, and the keyboard. <laughs> that was so cool. <laughs> he knows what he's doing. John Petrucci has entered the chat. The orchestra going on in the bag is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. God damn it, I just yeeted my my shaker. Beautiful outro. 
We had beautiful intro and we have beautiful outro. And that's how you properly, properly, god damn it, write a progressive metal song. And more. Holy balls. Okay, so that was Circus Maximus Burn After Reading. And I'm sorry about the thing with my shaker, hopefully it wasn't too loud. I just wanted to throw it on my bed and it kind of flew a little bit further than I anticipated and yeah, I'm a dumb dumb basically is what I meant to say, but back to the song. Wow. You know, when people were mentioning Dream Theater, I was like, okay, if you mention Dream Theater when talking about a different band, those guys have to be really good musicians to, you know, compare to such band, because you can't really compare anyone, any band, just, you know, to Dream Theater. Dream Theater are in a league of their own, basically. Like, there has been many, many amazing bands coming out, you know, in the past years. But still, Dream Theater, you know, it's just such a huge name. And there is not another band like them. You know, some might, might come close, but still, you know, Dream Theater are in a league. Of their own as I already said and I'm starting to repeat myself so you know it it opened with a very calm beginning beautiful vocal melodies that really remind the voice of the singer really reminded me in some places especially you know these slow ones but even some of the higher notes really reminded me of James Labrie I know that a lot of Dream Theater fans are not really all that fond of James Labrie but personally I definitely do not mind his vocals. I don't know how about his live performances. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it might be a little wonky, but you know, being a singer in the Dream Theater that cannot be, you know, an easy job basically is what I'm trying to say. But yeah, this guy had a really really nice voice and yeah, by the way, James Labrie's solo project so freaking good. I think that I've actually listened to more of his solo stuff than to Dream Theater. Yeah, there, I said it! Anyway, after a while, you know, the song starts building up, you know, the heaviness, little by little. It's not like they just throw it on you instantly, no. They just build it up real slow and, you know, it builds that tension into that really heavy, super fast part, the very first super fast riff, when that kicks in, oh my god, that is an energetic bomb basically. Super well produced, very well written, really enjoyed it. Maybe sometimes here and there I felt like the vocals were just a little drowned, you know, in the mix, but that might be just me and my ears, who knows? My ears are weird sometimes, and like, my, my favorite, one of my favorite parts in this song, like, I expected a lot, but right now I don't really remember Dream Theater doing blast beats, and these guys just went there and it was glorious. It was glorious, and for like a second or two I was like, is this really happening? Prog song sounding like Dream Theater with blast beats. I am all for that. Obviously, when blast beats are overused, it's kind of boring and it loses its magic. But when you place that one part with a blast beat right, it just melts my face every single time. And this was definitely the case, so there is that. But that wasn't all, man. Like, somewhere around the 5 minute mark, they just, you know... <laughs> I'm gonna say it again, it was just like John Petrucci entered the chat <laughs> because they went full on crazy proc, absolute madness, crazy tempo, crazy changes, insane melodies. And goddammit, that keyboardist, thumbs up for this guy because, or you know, actually to all the guys who participated in this song to Circus Maximus themselves, because holy crap, that part absolutely blew my socks off. And they just kept ramping it up more and more and more and it got crazier and crazier and then when I was like, okay, so they don't really have anywhere to go right now and they just, you know, basically just flip the switch and back to the very, very cold mood and beautiful vocals and choirs and all that kind of jazz and it was just 
you know, just a super beautiful moment and that ended till the end, you know, you had one more chorus and then the song ended. And it was, as I said before, it was really good. This is high quality, progressive metal, really, really cool stuff. Not something that I would listen to every day, but if someone play this to me, I would be like, hell to the man, this is good music. Alright guys, so that is it for this video, I hope you enjoyed my reaction to Circus Maximus Burn after reading, thank you so much Organic Mechanic for requesting this song and a belated Merry Christmas, I know it's like the 7th of January and yeah, that's a little bit late but you know still, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, I hope you all had a great start to the new year and I hope you all had great Christmas, got some great presents, met your family, had great time with your loved ones. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a thumbs up and subscribe for more stuff because as you know, there is always more videos coming your way and if you feel like talking to me outside of YouTube, there are links to my social medias down in the description below this video as well as a link where you can directly support my channel and what I do here, either by PayPal or on Patreon. So guys, again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. So have a nice day, evening, night or whatever you have right now. Cheers.